So cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease which you have from birth, uh, which mainly makes your mucus in your body much thicker than a normal person's. Mine blocks airways, it's very thick, and it's easy to pick in up chest infections. Sticking to a routine on taking all my medicines, it's been very much like a roller coaster. I think at first when I started, I was much more compliant and I was kind of forced to take them, uh, especially when I was in hospital. I think for the most part it is pretty difficult to remember to take everything because there's quite a bit. Um, I'd, I'd say like the first hour of the day and the last hour of the day, they're kind of like mainly focused on my CF and taking all my treatments and making sure I do everything and I'm not always very good at it. I think this past year I've been getting a lot better um, as, as I've matured, it's kind of uh, I'm less thinking, oh, I've got to be normal and more just thinking, well, I've got to focus on my health. Um, but for a while, I, I didn't really want to focus on my health. I wanted to just focus on fitting in and not being, uh, not feeling like an outsider with all these differences. I, I did things uh, that I wouldn't do now in my mental health. I definitely didn't help myself. CF was always at the centre um, of it because that's like, my main issue, I guess. It's the one thing that I can always come back to and go, damn, I, I hate that. When I was at school, I I, th I think I, I told uh, people about it as I, as I knew about it, because I knew that people would notice if I'm taking tablets with lunch, or you know, if I missed a day for the ho to go to the hospital, then people would start to notice. So I, I, I told people um, in my friend group pretty much as soon as I, as I got back to school. Most of the time I'm talking to people about it who have no idea what it is. So, it, it, yeah, it can kind of make you feel like an outsider at times. You, you know, people don't know what's going on because they look at you and you don't look ill. You don't look like there's anything wrong with you. Um, which in some sense is a blessing, uh, but in other times it's, you know, I'm ill in disguise <laughs> a lot of the time. It can make you feel quite different from people, yeah. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when I was 12, but I've been living with it my entire life. 